Now, see in this example, in a test experiment on a model aeroplane in a wind tunnel, the flow speeds, the flow speeds on the upper and lower surfaces of the wing are 70 meter per second and 63 meter per second. And now here, what is the lift on the wing? If the area is this much, we know it P1 plus half rho V1 is square plus G H is equal to P2 plus half rho V2 is square plus G H. On the upper surface of the wing pressure is P1 velocity is V1 and here lower surface of the wing pressure is P2 velocity is V2. H we can ignore because we are not taking height of the wing much higher. So, we can get P1 minus P2 into is equal to half rho into V2 is square minus V1 is square. We are given here now P1 minus P2 is equal to half rho is the density of air we are given 1.3 into V2 we are given here 63. So, we can write here 63 is square minus and that is here 70 square. This is the pressure difference between upper and lower surfaces of the wing. At upper surface pressure is less that is coming the negative sign here if you solve and at the lower surfaces pressure is higher because P1 I have assumed pressure at the upper surface, P2 pressure at the lower surface. Answer will come negative, so you can change according to that. Now, if you want to get here the lift that means force, so we can write here dynamic lift that means force is equal to pressure difference minus whatever this is the pressure difference into area that is 2.5 meter square here and that you can write that is the force so unit will be here Newton. So, now put the value of this thing after solving here and then you multiply when you solve it then you will be getting 1.51 into 10 raised to power 3 Newton. So, this question is actually based on the principle of Bernoulli's.